Welcome to the Dice Tower Spring Spectacular, featuring top tens, live plays, contests, and more. Hey there everybody, it's Mike Delicio, and welcome back to the next installment of my top 50 games of all time here on the Dice Towers 2021 Spring Spectacular. All right, well look, we're covering numbers 20 through 11 now, getting into the higher echelons of the list. I'm really excited about these games. Let's get started right away with number 20. My number 20 is Root. Now, Root is an asymmetrical game where you are woodland creatures battling it out on a particular, for well, it doesn't have to be a forest map, but it can be. And the original base box was not a game that you could play solo. The first expansion came out with a solo variant that I was not a particularly big fan of. I was not recommending that as a solo game. But they have since released what's known as the Clockwork expansion that has automated bot characters that are so much better and make this a very, very viable solo game. Root is a game that can be a little bit difficult to teach as a multiplayer game, and so I love having the option of anytime I'm in the mood to play Root, I can grab Root with the Clockwork expansion and battle it out against one of these pretty challenging Clockwork bots that are all card-driven. So if you're in the mood to play and you don't have people around, here's a great chance to do it. But also, if you do like playing Root with a group, what this allows you to do is try out the different uh, factions and get better at them and learn their strategy. So I think Root is a fantastic solo game now with the Clockwork Bot. I think it's a great game in general, one of my favorite games of all time. I'm really, really happy that they are continuing to add. Many of the factions are already now in Clockwork fashion. They're going to continue to add more. Really, really good solo game. That is Root. At number 19 is Nemesis. Let's just put it out there. Nemesis is Aliens the board game, okay? It's not officially, but that's what it is. It really feels evocative of Aliens. You wake up out of cryo sleep and you're on this spaceship and you don't remember where anything is, so you're having to move around, exploring locations, turning over tiles to find out where things are, trying to get, al get out alive, get back to Earth alive without getting destroyed by the Xenomorphs, who could be anywhere anywhere. And when you move, you're making noise, and that noise might attract the xenomorph. It's a game that evokes the feeling of paranoia and terror that you would expect so well, even as a solo gamer. You know, a lot of times, it's hard to pull off this feeling of fear in a board game. It's a little bit easier to do if there are other people around because you can feed off of each other. As a solo game, it's especially hard to pull off, but Nemesis does it really well. It's a game that really kind of evokes this feeling of terror. Every time you flip over a tile, something can happen. Every time you reach into a bag to find out if a xenomorph is there, it, it, it can create some terror. It's a big, lavish production with beautiful mint. Well, I don't know if I'd call them beautiful. The minis are beautifully done, but they're nasty, you know, uh, xenomorphs. But it is a really, really satisfying experience. Uh, cinematic feeling game. That's Nemesis. At number 18 is Cthulhu Death May Die. Now, there have been tons of Cthulhu themed games out there. You might say there have been too many. Maybe there have, maybe there hasn't. But Cthulhu Death May Die, I think, does it in a particularly campy way. And I appreciate that. This is a game that's not taking itself too seriously at all. Basically, it's a cooperative game, and what you're doing is you control a couple of characters that each have their own abilities. They're going to allow them, allow them to have specific strengths and weaknesses. And the way the game works is that it's episodic, okay? So 
you play a particular episode and that's going to have its own deck, its own deck box that's going to have cards. That's going to determine kind of how the map is laid out and what different scenarios you're trying to accomplish. And you also pick a great old one to go against and it has its own deck of cards. You shuffle those together and that's going to be how your scenario plays out. And so it's really interesting. You, in a particular scenario, you might be having to deal with fire that, that's popping up everywhere. You might be having to kind of almost do like a pick up and deliver type of mechanic. But all the while, you are dealing with this great old one that you know you're going to have to defeat. It is incredibly challenging, very challenging, but it's a game that just keeps me coming back for more. I've played through most of the scenarios now, and... I just keep coming back for more. I really, really think that this game, this is a game that has grown on me. The first time I played it, I liked it, but it has gotten better and better and better. And to me, that's a sign of a great game is when a game gives you a good first impression, but the more you play it, the more you find hidden depths, revealing things that you didn't necessarily see, strategies that you didn't realize were even there. Because you might think this just come, comes down to dice rolling, but it doesn't. There's a lot more strategy here than it might first let on. That is Cthulhu, Death May Die. All right, number 17 is Petrichor. Hey, have you ever wanted to play as a cloud in a board game? Petrichor has got you covered. That's right, you're a cloud. This is a really cool game where it's an area control game. I call it a dual area control game because there's two different aspects where you're trying to control areas and get majorities. The main board is made up of tiles that are laid out in a, in a three by three grid. And you are a cloud that is moving about this grid. And the cloud can get filled with raindrops that are these beautiful glass beads. And when clouds meet each other, they create thunder clouds. And these raindrops may spill over. You're playing weather-themed cards that allow you to take different actions to move your cloud around. Maybe to spill water out to put more raindrops in your cloud. And you're trying to water these crops that are going to give you different points. And they, they need different scoring requirements but you basically are trying to get area majority on those tiles. And you're also trying to get area majority on this weather board. Really, really unique theme. It's, it's, at its heart, it's a Euro game, but it's so unique and such a beautiful design and such a beautiful theme, I think. And the AI is controlled with a deck of cards that's very, very easy to administer. I absolutely adore Petrichor. I think it's kind of one of these hidden gem games where a lot of times I ask people they've played it, they've never even heard of it. I really think that you should check it out if it appeals to you at all. That is Petrichor. Number 16 is Viscounts of the West Kingdom. Now this was a tricky one for me because Viscounts of the West Kingdom is part of a trilogy of West Kingdom games that started with Architects of the West Kingdom, followed up by Paladins of the West Kingdom, and the re most recent one is Viscounts of the West Kingdom. All three of them play solo. All three of them are outstanding solo. So why did I choose Viscounts? Well, I think I chose Viscounts because of the three, I feel like it has the best realized AI card driven deck. Okay. It's essentially a, it's, it's got a deck building element to it. It's got a, a kind of a circular type board that you're moving around. You're trying to build your, your deck to, to, to complete different things around the board. You have an AI opponent that's going to be focusing on a particular thing. So maybe this particular AI opponent is going for manuscripts. And so you know that they're going to be better at getting manuscripts. So do you compete with them directly on that? Or do you kind of concede that they're going to get the manuscripts? I'm going to try to do better on everything else. It's a game with a lot of interaction points. And so that's what's most impressive to me is that with a very simple to administer AI deck of cards, you can control a game that has this much interaction to it. A game that you wouldn't necessarily think would work well solo. It works beautifully solo. Again, all three of these games are great. I could highly recommend all of them, but I'm putting Vicouts on the list because I think it has the best AI deck of the three games. All right, my number 15 is The Bloody Inn. Now, I'm gonna come right out there at the front and tell you that this has a morbid theme that may not be for everyone but I don't think that it's taking itself terribly seriously. I think this is a very tongue in cheek game, but essentially in the bloody inn, you are the proprietor of an inn and you are trying to lure people to stay in your inn so that you can murder them and take their stuff without getting caught by the police. Yes, it's an awful, awful uh, series of things you're doing, but again, I don't think that it's taking itself terribly seriously, but what it is, 
is a very, very clever card game with multi-use cards where you are trying to manipulate and get the most points. And it's also got a unique kind of closed economy where you can never get more than a certain amount of money. You have to manipulate that in a, in a, in a particular uh, way, trying to be clever with how you're getting your money and not wasting any of that money, not getting money that goes to waste. Really, really clever game. It has, I think, some beautiful art. Again, this is a little bit divisive. Not only is the theme divisive, the art is divisive on this one. So while the Bloody Inn might not be for everybody, it's definitely for me. I like it a whole lot. Number 14, The City of Kings. Now, The City of Kings is a big, sprawling production, a beautiful game that I think when you see it on the table, your expectations might be different than what the game actually is. When you see it out on, on the table, it might look like a dungeon crawl type of a game. But it's really not necessarily that. What The City of Kings is, to me, is a puzzle game. And I've said a number of times on these videos that puzzle games, to me, are inherently well done for solo experiences. And The City of Kings, you are playing as characters that are moving about this map that is made up of different tiles. And you're exploring these tiles to see what's on the other side. And what you might encounter might be some enemies. You might be encountering some places where you can gather resources, things along those lines. You can play this game as a campaign where you've got a series of linked scenarios, or you can play it as I tend to play, which are as one-off scenarios, one-off puzzles. And one of the things I like so much about the City of Kings is that it gives you different experiences. So if you wanna play a combat-driven game, you can take a scenario that's combat driven. It'll tell you right there that this is a combat driven scenario. Or if you want to play a pick up and deliver style game, you can get combat, you can get, excuse me, scenarios that are like that or a resource management game. It's a very versatile system that is a series of very, very clever and satisfying puzzles to solve. And sometimes the puzzle, you, you might think, oh, I, I know what I need to do to, to, to win this. And, and you, you find out it's something completely different. You go, oh, this is what I should be doing. I really like games that let you feel clever like that. The City of Kings is definitely one of those. Number 13 is SOS Titanic. SOS Titanic is a small card game that is really a riff on Solitaire, that, that classic solo card game. The, I think this is based on the Patience version of Solitaire. There's multiple versions of Solitaire. But it's themed around trying to save passengers off the Titanic before it sinks. And the way that that is represented in the game is with a spiral bound book that every time you flip a page, because when you have to reshuffle the deck of passengers, the deck of cards represents passengers. When you have to reshuffle the deck of passengers, you flip a page on the book and it shows the ship slowly sinking into the water. And so that evokes this feeling of, of pressure and, and stress and panic. And I got to get these passengers onto lifeboats. And it's done with the classic system of trying to play numerically so that you can get a line of cards that you can then kind of clear. And in this case, clearing them means putting them onto the lifeboats. You have a character that you are controlling that has a special ability. So that's really the hook that makes it a bit different from just standard patience solitaire. A really well done game that has unfortunately been very, very difficult to get a hold of, out of print for years. However, I am understanding that it is getting reprinted, I believe, this year. And, if, and I'm thrilled about that because I think that this is a really cool game that everyone should check out if they're interested at all in just playing Solitaire, if they're interested in the theme. Really cool game, SOS Solitaire, or <laughs> SOS Titanic. Maybe it could have been called SOS Solitaire, who knows? All right, number 12, Dune Imperium. Dune Imperium is a mixture of between a deck building game and a worker placement game set in the universe of the movie that has not been released yet, Dune Imperium, but the larger Dune universe. This is a game where you are obviously using cards. I say obviously, but it's not obvious. They're multi-use cards. The cards will allow you to either gain resources, do actions, or they will also allow you to go to particular areas on the board. Different areas have different symbols, so you need to play a card that has that symbol to allow you to go there. But what you're trying to do is a number of things. You're trying to gain favor with the different houses, gain influence with them. That will, by moving up these tracks, will give you different abilities, will potentially give you points. The way to win the game is 10 points. So every point in this game feels precious. To get a point is a big accomplishment. And you get those points 
both through sometimes playing cards, but most often through moving up these influence tracks and by winning combats. So this is a game that in many ways feels like a standard worker placement Euro. However, it is one of the most interactive Euros I've ever played because you've got this combat element as well. And so normally in a worker placement game, the main points of interaction are gonna be, hey, don't take the spot that I want. But in this one, not only do you have that, you've got this combat, which is almost always gonna give you at least resources that you need, but sometimes points. And in the solo game, you play against an AI deck. Now, in the game box itself comes a deck of cards, very simple to administer, very simple to, to handle the AI's turn. You can also get an app that will allow you to kind of do some of that for you. Basically, it'll just flip the card for you. But it's a really, really satisfying game in general. I really like the game, and I really like it as a solo game. That is Dune Imperium. All right, the last game on this list at number 11 is Monumental. Monumental is truth in advertising because this is a massive box, a huge box, whole bunch of components. Uh, depending on which version you get, it might have a whole bunch of minis or it might be cardboard uh, tokens. But regardless, Monumental is a game that is really built around a deck building mechanic where you've got a grid of nine cards that you lay out that represent your city. And what you do is you, you pick a row and a column and you trigger those cards. And those cards are gonna do different things. They might gain you resources, temporary resources that you can use on that turn. But what are those resources gonna do? Well, they're gonna allow you to do things on the separate map that is built out of these kind of, they're not exactly hex tiles, but they're hex-ish type tiles that you build out according to a particular book that tells you how to lay out the map. And you've got your troops on that map and you've got the AI's controlled troops on that map. And you're trying to send out explorers, and you're also trying to have battles and, and fighting against NPC characters and against your opponent. And this is also done through an AI deck of cards. Monumental, I think, is a really, really impressive design. It has something that I think uh, I've never seen before, which gives me a macro-micro feel. In other words, when I've got my deck, or excuse me, my, my grid of nine cards there, that's my city, that's kind of my micro level thing. I'm doing things here to go to the big macro overhead view on this big map. I really like kind of that shift of my attention from here's the row, here's the grid of cards I've got to deal with. How am I going to best manipulate this grid of cards to go over there to that map and do what I need to do? Really, really well done. The solo game, I think, is really well done because depending upon which civilization you face off against, because you play as a civilization and you face off against another civilization, depending upon what civilization you play against, they're going to have a particular strength, and you know that at the beginning of the game. So you have to take in mind, well, this is a particularly aggressive civilization, or this is a civilization that is really good at science or technology or whatever the case may be, and so you have to account for that. Really, really, really well done solo game. That is monumental. Whew, all right, that's another 10 down. I've only got one more video to go. Hopefully you have enjoyed these so far. Hopefully you continue to enjoy the great content that we're providing here on our Spring Spectacular. And I can't wait to see you on my last list for my top 50 solo games of all time. Hello everyone and welcome back to the live play section of our Spring Spectacular. My name is Chris Yee. I am Mike Delicio. And I'm Jenny St. Arnold. Oh, Today wow. we're taking this one on Dice Throne Adventures. So this one is a cooperative version of the Dice Throne game. We'll give you a very brief overview of how it works. Dice Throne is essentially Battle Yahtzee, where players will be rolling their five dice up to three times and trying to make different combinations to deal damage and attack each other. But in this cooperative version, we'll be playing the Dungeon Crawl. This is the dungeon as set up in, uh, per the instructions here. Mike is going to work some magic with the green screen. Ooh. Oh, nice placement there. So well, this is- I did what I could. So this is, uh, the card has some green on it and everything, but... There see. we go. There we that. go. So we set up the tiles according to the difficulty. This is mission number one. There's up to eight missions. And uh, Roy, if you turn it invisible again, 
you'll see that we set it up exactly per the instructions. Whoa, look at oh, that. Oh, computer magic. Mine. Computer magic. So we have some starting health, and we need to move around without dying, which I've heard is a good thing. Oh, you can't die. That's We're not supposed to die. That's a shame. All yes, right. unfortunately. Staying alive is key. We're trying to collect these uh, three shards that are around on the map and uh, return them here to the boss entry space and we have to take down a level four minion who will be the boss of this particular mission. Uh, on our turn we're simply going to uh, move either to an unexplored tile or to a current encounter. Uh, we'll flip over the tiles and do whatever the effects on them say and then we'll enter a battle. Uh, we'll draw out a minion and we'll fight against them. Players will take turns one by one. You can go assist someone else who's in a battle that's unfinished, or you can keep exploring. As soon as you move on to these spaces that have these special treasures on them, you resolve their effects. And once we get all three of the shards over here, we can work our way towards there to face the final encounter. Now, one of the best parts of Dice Throne are the characters. So why don't we briefly just go over who uh, each of us are. Jenny? Sure. I'm the gunslinger. That's right. The gun is mightier than all of you. Woo! Look at that. Mm-hmm. Two guns. That's better than zero guns. That's pew, way pew, better than zero pew, guns. Pew, 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 <laughs> so you have a specialty in filling people with lead. That's right. <laughs> filling uh, people with lead, yes. I am the vampire lord. And so uh, I have a little bit of ability to, uh, I have some special power tokens over here. I also have the ability to bleed victims so that they will uh, lose damage, you know, a little bit each turn and heal a bit. And then Mike, who are you playing today? I'm going to make you pronounce it. Thanks, Chris. The Seraph. The Seraph, yes. Ah, look at the Seraph Aww. with their mighty blades and very glorious wings. Uh, yeah, the Seraph. Those are some and I've got, uh, it looks like I've got some, some kind of purifying, holy powers, holy mm -hmm. blade, the holy smite. Um, holy macaroni. That's right, wow, I've got holy, holy presence. Cow. You look, I'm, I'm pretty holy, that's all I'm saying. All right, so we've got the vampire, the Seraph, and the sheriff. So, oh, yes! Mm. Well done. Well we done. could be a, a Saturday morning sitcom. Yeah. All right, so how the game works is. Uh, so that's the, the main overview is that we're going to move and explore and flip over things. Uh, but then once we get into an encounter, we're going to do what is more of like a normal round of dice thrown where we can use our special card abilities as well as the dice rolls to make things happen. We start with two combat points, which is mm -hmm. kind of the currency of the game. We're each going to have 13 health and hope not to lose it because if any single one of us is knocked out, that is a lose condition. That's it. We're out of the game not at that good, point, Chris. Not good. We don't want that. Nope. Can't have that. that. And we also have four cards that we will have uh, access to at the start of our, our turn. These can be spent as one-off abilities, as special, uh, you know, reconfigure type things, or as upgrades to some of these abilities that we have mm -hmm. to make ourselves stronger. So, um, let's see. Why don't we just uh, why don't we just roll off to see who's going to start? All mm. right. Roll our loot Come dice. On. Highest. We'll go Nineteen. For it. I got a two. I got eleven. Right Ooh. between you. So. That gunslinger's well, gonna start I us off. Well, I guess I'm gonna go. go first here. Um, all right, let's head down this direction. See what's under this tile. Well, we might want to show this one off just sure. to give people an idea. Now, there's a go lot of green it. on this tile, just so you're aware. So some of it's gonna appear see-through. All, all right. right. Oh, that looks great, though. Reflection. Yes. Ooh. So you're going to roll one of your dice. All right. And take the effects, whether you roll one or two. Or a three through five. I or need a six. You want a six? That'll get you a. I need a six here, y'all. I got a two. What How does about that a two? Mean? That means you got a concussion. I'm concussed. Oh my goodness! All right, Mike. Do you want to pull out the uh, concussion token? Which token is that? That is uh, which? Uh, red with the. Uh, I think it's that one right. This one right here. Yeah. Well, that's not a great start to my turn, y'all. No. All right. Sorry about that. So you've got a negative status effect. Mm. You want to read that one or you want to? What does concussion do to me? Negative status effect. A player afflicted with this token must skip their income phase and then remove this token. Oh. Well, so you just don't I'm get first an income player, phase. I don't get, or is that not true in the co-op version? So normally what would happen is at the start of a round, well, one of the first things you can do is you can spend a salve token, if you have it to heal, 
uh, if there are any minions that have first strike abilities, they would happen. Uh, and then on your turn, uh, when you get to your dice rolling turn, first thing you get is income, which is a combat point, and, a, and to draw a card, you'll have to skip but that when that comes. The out. first player skips anyway, though. So, but that's not true in the co-op version, because in Dice Throne regular, first player skips their income phase mm, on their that, first turn. That's fair. So, I, does that happen now? Or? I honestly don't remember if they changed that in the co-op version, but. We don't need to know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's all We don't good. need to know. Well, I'm just wondering, do I get to discard this or I just keep it forever now? No, 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 no. It would just be whenever you would normally take your income phase okay. and skip it and get Until rid of it's that. gone. All right. Well, I well, need I to get healed. We, we kind of do need to know that then. Well, so so here's what's going to happen. Is, okay. Is... Uh, Jenny drew, uh, got a concussion instead mm -hmm. of drawing a monster. Right. So you actually don't have an interaction. Oh, that's true. That's all right, right, all right. So we'll say that on your next turn. You'll okay. skip your income and get rid of that. I yeah. can still take my main phase, though, right? Um, let's see. Main phase. Yeah, or you no. can still, yeah you, she can still play Since her. Since there's no combat, uh, I can still do cards and things, right? Yeah. I think so, yeah. All She's, right, then. I'm going to play. I'm gonna play some stuff. I'm not gonna question the person you know? with two guns. Correct. I mean, you better listen to me. And if someone in the chat right. may, may tell us differently. Yeah. I, I well, don't... we'll see. The chat Kevin is very clarifies wise. They did change it. Oh, the they did change did. it. Thank you, Cameron. That's what I thought. Yeah. You just... I didn't remember that because I've we have played this co or, um, multiplayer, but I've played it solo more than I have. All right. Well, I'm gonna spend. All of my CP and upgrade my revolver to Revolver 2. Oh, Revolver right. 2. That film yes. was highly underrated. You know, usually the sequels are not as good as the originals. A revolver 2 is revolver way better. Revolver 2 was much better. Way better. It was. And then um, since there's no combat, then I guess that's it for me. All right. So there's no minion phase. Normally there'd be a, an attack and a counterattack, but uh, someone got a concussion instead. Well, you know, it's Can't unfortunate. It's dangerous out here. So. All right. <laughs> well, I'm not going to spend a sap because I'm fully healed. All right. Um, so my question is, and I'm open to suggestions, we do need to start getting these shards. Yeah. I'm hesitant to go to a level two right away. Right. That's what um, I Although, Chris, you could come in and, and work with me on yeah. that if need be. And there is a salve right on the other side of that. It's true. No time like the present. Go for it. Chris, move me to that big number two oh. uh, ex encounter. Well, we'll see what it is. Maybe let's it's not, maybe there's will. nothing under oh. there. Oh, oh, boy. There'll be something under here. Oh. Let's, let's rest assured. Uh, this is a, <laughs> a pensive bath. I'm going to take pensive a pensive bath. bath. <laughs> not what we wanted to see today, folks. Hey, look, you know, you know what uh, frequently happens in the bath? You gain a parasite. Uh, I don't oh. know about you. Oh man, this could be great if if we were in more sh uh, bad shape because you can also heal here. Man, I really, I really messed up that call. But I could re-roll it for one CP per re-roll. I really don't want a parasite. I call me crazy. I mean, I wouldn't want a parasite. Four. Either. Hey, okay. can't heal above my. All right. My well, we do get a minion though, right? Wouldn't, wouldn't or a imagine. monster. Um. Uh, Isn't that no. what that symbol means? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. we do. Yeah. So yeah, Let's just ignore that, shall we? <laughs> right, right here. We've got a level two minion here. All right. All right well, we got we yeah. got that little fun Here we go. So, thing. first strike. That's fantastic. Great. Nice. Arcane Vibra. Oof. All right. So, uh, this, this minion, being level two, has 14 health and three CP. So, we'll go ahead and set up a, a health meter for this nasty... Enemy Nasty. for the vibraphone of June. Sanguine blade. Right. That's uncalled Tearing for. up the jazz. Now. That is well, you'll see that in a second. For. And uh, they have three CP, which usually doesn't come There's into play. There's little, tar little tokens, or we can use a thing. Yeah, you just use the, the That'll little. That'll work. Yeah, these are. This is basically for our, for our, enemy there. But they've got a first strike, which means that they're going to hit first. All yeah. right. Yeah. And they are. Well, let me put this back up here again. All right. So basically. Uh, they've got their own. Maybe Chris, you've been you've been explaining. If you want to kind of. Oh sure, sure, sure. Either way. So the uh, the enemies in this game come with their own set of dice, and these are just kind of generic ones. All the monsters that we're fighting against will use, and much like the dice stone dice, they have three symbols of one kind, you know, and then a few distribution of the others. That card specifically says uh, that as we roll dice for the uh, for the arcane 
chat saying you can heal above your max health? Up to Hello. ten. Okay. Up to ten above. Up to ten above your so, starting health. That's so right. So I, I rolled us what a uh, four. You rolled a four. So, so you get so you got four extra health. Thank, Thank you, chat. chat. Thank you, chat. Chat's the real. Trying energy. to keep us healthy. Thank That's you. Right. Thank you. So I'm Jane, need all we'll, that health. We'll have right. you control the monsters yes. for Mike's Ooh. turn. So basically, so. yeah. And, and remember, this is a cooperative game, Jenny. You want I to roll am poorly. Not right now. You want to roll poorly. So you roll the dice and every die that you have that matches well, this particular her. role objective right. two whites and three yellows okay so i have two whites them. and a yellow okay no more yellow. <laughs> good, okay, good, good, more. good 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 do it again do it no again. more yellows oh no i'm oh, sorry we're, no we're okay we need no yeah we need a three oh yellows. we need three. Oh. Well, no. well so, we still get. So go ahead and put this back yeah, up we're there. Still, I'm still getting. So they're it. they're trying to roll that roll objective in the bottom left. Right. But then at the end of the three rolls, you look over under the sanguine blade ability, mm -hmm. and you'll see depending on what roll we got. In this case, two whites and two yellows. Mm -hmm. They're gonna trigger that effect. Yep. Right. So I get uh, five damage. Correct. That would be correct. Well, it's a good thing you hit But I there. do. I have a defensive roll. Correct? It's not, it is defendable, right? Is it, it doesn't say it's not defendable. Well, then, Correct. if it was red, it would be undefendable. So, my, my so defense roll good. is the angelic mantle, and I roll one die, all right? Ooh. And depending on what I do, oh. I prevent some. I rolled a, a, three, a, a two blade, so I deal two damage back. No oh, yeah. But I'm still going to take, what did I say, five? Five damage. So, I'm down all to 12. Right. Well, and so, we away. do, uh, you, if you don't mind, yeah, the combat. Oh, yeah, you got that. All right. So this goes down to nine health. Right. And that was their first strike. So I actually now get my chance now you can to attack. Whoop right. up yes. on them. Now, I could use my salve right now, but I think I don't think I need to just yet. All right. So I get my um, income phase. Yes. I still get my income phase here. Yeah. yeah? You're yeah. not concussed like So I get me, a three. And I gain like me, the hit country song from a car. Yeah. All You're right. Familiar. So what do I want to do? What do I want to do here? <laughs> Oh, well, that's nice. Oh, I kind of want to... got to get rid of this. I, I feel like I may want to buff up my defense. That's not a bad idea. So I'm going to spend two. I could have used it before that, but I didn't. Uh-oh, uh Roy's laughing over there. I was going to think, anybody's gonna, everybody's going to think you have a southern draw for the rest yeah, of the Yeah, they're going to think that you really are. <laughs> they're going to meet you in real life, and they're going to be like, what? You know what? I'm also going to do this. For good role playing. <laughs> Jenny Saint, I do declare. That's right. I'm going to... Oh, I no, no. That, this is during the roll phase, so I don't use it yet. Okay. So, I just want that to buff up my, my defense. That's a buff great idea. I'm going to buff it's up that defense. Here we go. Defense. Now I'm rolling. All right. You got rolling, this. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay, lots of crosses. Mm. That's good. That's good. That's Probably. holy, right? You're holy. Probably. Um, actually, it's not as exciting as I would like. Uh, <laughs> um, that's, which is surprising because there's only one cross on these dice. I'm a little surprised by that. Um, I could try to get this purify. I could deal five undefendable damage. That's nice. They do roll four defense dice. So yeah. So let's do that. I'll hold these aside. I'm gonna roll two more. I'm gonna try to get my angelic, uh, my angelic pendant, which I did. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Nice. You super rolled it. Man. All right. I, well I done, super you. rolled it. So I'm gonna do purify. Yeah, choose a player. If that player is an opponent, deal five unde undefendable damage. Ooh, um, well, additionally, I could have removed a status effect from that player, but we don't want to remove anything from them. So five damage, All undefendable. Right. Very nice. Get him. All right, Chris, come on over. For help now. Come on over there and one thing finish I need off to, the job. One thing I need to remember, actually, mm -hmm. uh, the first strike ability, does that mean that they still take a normal turn afterwards? I don't think so. I, I think believe they, they just, just go, go before you. Yeah. I'm going to double check it. It's your turn, but I'm pretty sure they just go before okay. us. Yeah. So the one thing I forgot to do then is they have a passive ability at the start of their turn. They gain a chaos <gasps> oh. token. Ooh. Well, then I could remove that token because what does that do? It's positive for them, I believe, since they're gaining Additionally, it. you may remove a status effect from that player, so let's okay. get rid of that. Yeah, get token. rid of that chaos. Yeah. So, uh, we don't need you, chaos. Bye-bye, chaos, chaos. Chaos is a fun mechanism in this game where yeah. uh, b uh, monsters will accumulate more of them and they can deal extra damage right. like per chaos, or in this case, they unleash cool. once they hit three. So just to confirm the first Neither. strike, it just says any minion with first strike will always attack the minion, the hero first, but you still each take one turn. Okay, excellent. Cool. All right, Chris. All right. Come on over. You want to finish that off? I would like to, yes. As much as I'd like to help the concussed. You know, it's all good. I can help myself on my turn. Thank um, you, though. Uh, Lord. <laughs> all right. 
So I've gone over there. I'm going to go assist in a battle instead of uh, flip and reveal a tile. Mm -hmm. So at the start of the battle, um, or so, start of my turn, I don't have a stab to spend. Now they're going to still hit you first. They right? yeah. will, which yeah, is yeah. a bit of a bummer. Right. So Mike, do you want to go ahead and roll for the the arcane here, these, these dice Not are really. Here. They're the same, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah we, have, okay. we have two sets of chaos dice cool. here. All right. Um, so I don't want to roll any yellows or whites, Chris. Yeah. I don't think that's possible. Just roll reds. That's all I got. Dude. Hey, look at all. Oh. I rolled exactly what they wanted <laughs> on the first roll. That's fantastic. Let me Matt, tell you. Sad are I you wouldn't all? roll that well if it were for me. I can guarantee you that. How sad all right. are you? All? all right. So you're rolling defense on this, yes? I'm rolling defense on six damage. Good. That's great. So I roll three dice and let's see what happens. Ooh. Ooh. All right. So what did what happened here? Steal one health per blood drop rolled. Okay. That's two of them. Wow. So I'm That's gonna, half. Yeah. So I'm going to take uh, six damage, which will bring me down to seven. Well, no, you're not. What? Not this time. A chosen player prevents six incoming damage. Well, Whoa, that Michael. Is a, that's a mighty move. I, With the assist and... Chat I, is demanding that you get into character more, Chris. <laughs> Vampire Lord! Really? What is that? <laughs> Chad, you want to reconsider that? Um... <laughs> I'm going to steal two health <laughs> from the bad guy. I this is sweet, all your that's fault. Amazing. This is all your fault. Chad. That sounds just like a you have no one to blame to but me, yourselves. So. I should do. I should do the. Uh, I'm going to be the what we do in the shadows vampires. Oh, there you I'm go. I'm going to be yeah. a bumbling moron. All right. New Zealand accent. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, fantastic. I can't do that accent. That's a tough that. one. All right. Let's do two health. From them. All right. Very nice. I will not be role playing. Come back. Come on now. No. No one not. No Holy one. Holy Avenger, you can't. Uh. Yeah, I don't even know how I would role play it, honestly. Oh, look at all those hands. Uh, if I were you, I would. The way to re role play a Holy Avenger would be just to do your um, your best uh, Dio, Ronnie James Dio. <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Your voice is angelic enough as it is. Well, that's, Roy, see, that, I appreciate that's true. that. I appreciate that. Is that is true. <laughs> All right. Oh. Ooh, okay. Well, let's see. I'm going to keep rolling. Uh, that was cocked. Let's just try it. <laughs> Second roll. Third roll. Uh, you had it on Star there. Runner is a vampire lord? <laughs> Star Runner is a vampire lord. <laughs> All right. Going to check my email. All right. I have four of my hand symbols, so that's going to be five damage plus. It's four of a kind. Oh, Ouch. so I'm gonna unlock one of my. Uh, let me get back to the character. Blood power. Fantastic. All right. That's exciting. And so they have to defend against that. They do. Yeah. So four defense dice, and for every yellow that you don't Jenny, roll, you roll these. Michael. Oh, you want me to roll? Yes. Every All yellow right. that you roll would steal. Don't a worry. I'm not gonna roll any yellows. Don't you worry. All right. Oh, well, just I'll roll one. one. Okay, that's fine. Just one. Okay. I just roll one. So we do. Uh, we do enough damage to knock them out. Mm -hmm. nice. So they're gone. They're gone. Get out of here. They're gone, but they do steal one health from me. I presume, even though they're Well, what do you yeah, expect? They steal it, but I knock them out, and so I lose that. We've now defeated we a, have. a level two minion, which has a reward down here of a level two Ooh, uh, loot. Treasure. Yes. So let's get out our loot. And all of us get this treasure, right? Even if we didn't participate? Or is it only people who participated? Uh, ooh, that's a good question. Is it the hero that knocked him out, or is we're going to double check that? While Chris is looking, I'm going to show you this. I would really like a treasure. That would be great. Chart, okay, and depending, that's a green there. But depending on the level of treasure, you're going to roll a d20, and based on what it gives you or what it rolls, it's going to give you a particular treasure. All right. Treasure. All right, the chat's really asking me to stay in character. All right. So this is going to be my best version of... Yes. They were demanding about the laws. Mm. Blah, blah. Blah. My Jermaine Clement. Blah. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, I'm going to keep looking this up. Uh, where's, where's the treasure part of this blah? Can I find that treasure? Well, you find loot chests while exploring environments and defeating minions. They contain many possible rewards. I think we all get them. What you receive comes down to fate. To discover your reward, heroes getting loot should roll their loot die. Oh, I mean, we know that part. Well, that's not very helpful. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, for the meantime, I'll Let's roll just roll it, and we'll and find out. We'll four on Number two four. is two. Uh, you get a plus two token that you can use to add to damage later on. Oh, yes. This okay. fantastic block. 
All right. I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Yeah, and if it turns out we all get them, we can just pick up a token. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep looking that up. All right, it's back to me it. then. So you just skip your income. Oh, no, I, first you're doing I, your... Uh, first I get my upkeep where I get my reload. Oh. And that's my limit. I can only have two, unfortunately. Then I'm going to go ahead and skip my income because I am still concussed. So we can get rid of that now? Yes. So this will go bye-bye. Mm -hmm. I'm healed. It's a miracle. Mm -hmm. Then... I'm going to... Any luck to find out? Yes. Just you? Oh, I need to move, don't I? The, the player who defeats I need to move. a minion mm -hmm. is the one who gets it. Mm. But when we get one of these treasure chests... Then we all. Oh, those are the ones that we all get. Then everybody gets to join right, in the spoils very nice. uh, of the bloodlust. Um, I, I really hope you're all happy with yourselves. If I go I'm, here, uh -huh. I, if I go here and I pick that up, can I give it to you or you? Or do I have to keep the salve? It doesn't matter because I can use it on anyone, right? Go ahead and do what you're oh, going to do. All right, I'm going to go here because it's right between two shards that yeah, we need. Yeah, players may choose to spend. So I'll just take it for now. We can figure it out later, I guess. I've played this game a number of times. Do you want to? Oh, yeah, let's go ahead and throw this one up there. Chat says everyone rolls. Everyone what? Everyone Ev rolls. I don't know if that's old or new. That's, that's uh, just that's when you do those chests. Chest. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, right. chat. Oh. So, unfortunately, you've got to discard a random card, and we're going to draw now. a card. Oh. There we go. Random. Thank you for sharing the spoils of your bounty. Oh, dear. This is upsetting. All right, I'll discard. Um, yeah, they can't be transferred. Okay. There They're also go. spent to result to re You can spend them to revive fallen teammates to one health, but may not be used well, to revive yourself. I'm the only one who doesn't have healing, so I guess I'll just take it. I already did, so I, whatever. All right, I discard a random card. Um, everyone else drew one, right? That's correct. All right, let's I see what we're going to go against. Uh-oh. We're going to be going against a Dreg Lackey. Do you want to show you that? to spend Sass to heal Dreg six on Lackey. your team's shared health dial. Oh, that's the boss battle. That's in the boss battle. Sorry, yes. I was getting myself confused. All right, Dreg Lackey. He's got 12 health. He's got zero CP. He's doing his master's bidding. All right. Oh, dear. So we need, what, we said 12 health here? Right. 12 health. Cameron is saying that everyone still gets a loot. Oh. Even when it's, well, if you defeat a minion, the active player receives the indicated reward. However, whenever a loot chest is opened, it always has something for old right, people. So. Yeah, it looks like it's I guess just the rewards yeah, so can be different things. We're good, yeah, I yeah. think. So I think we all do actually roll because the... Oh, because that was a... Saying is everybody rolls. Got it. Yeah. All, right. all right, cool. That sounds great. Two. I get a plus two also. I got a 15. Uh, two gold. We'll add it to the, to the mix there. Look, I, I got us some money, Which really is not going to do anything for us because we're well, not going to be going on to the boss battle. Oh, but. I just rolled a large straight, y'all. Oh, there One, you go. One, two, three... Four, five, which is my fan the hammer ability. So I gain two evasive. Oh man, I only need two there. Don't grab three. Got lots of tokens going on over I, there. You know, I like to have my board nice and decorated. Right. The token so, queen. and I deal seven damage All right. to our friend. So Who, whoever's rolling defend? can. They have a defensive roll of three. Okay, I'll go ahead and. And roll. then uh, there's three dots do for I, them there. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Um. Can I spend my reloads now, or do I wait till after I'm... It should tell you when you it can It says, uh, if spend and add half of one die to act, attack damage. So, does that... And he can defend can, against it, yeah, so I yeah, should roll still, now. Yeah, you can still do it, yeah. All right, I'll roll one. All right. Here we go. This is going to be a six, I'm sure of it. It's a one. Hey, that's fantastic. You know what? That's all right. He can take a one. I'll roll again with my other one, too. I mean, why not? I get one every turn. Oh, there's two more, so right. three extra damage. So that'll be a total of ten. Total of ten? Now, oh. is it half the damage? Is it rounded up? It's rounded up, Perfect. yes, sir. All right. All right. Yellows. Yellows prevent damage. Reds lose a gold. I don't care about that at all. We can lose all the gold we want. We're only doing this portal Oh, that's crawl. true. We don't that care. That helps us. Okay, so how much damage do we do? Boom. That was ten, right? Man, you Tons. did very well. Thank you, sir. All right, now he's going to attack. Uh-oh. Well, if I roll this combo here, then he does undefendable damage. 
Oh, we don't want that. So, white and a yellow. But hey, that was a really good bad roll. Mm -hmm, that was. <laughs> roll bad, roll bad. Roll bad. Oh, you oh got no, I got it. That's not good. That's not good. Deal five. <clears throat> Deal five. Undefendable damage. Five undefendable. Yep, so you just got And I don't have any cards to affect the roll, so I just take that damage on the chin, which is painful. Ah, he's only got two health left. It's going to be a shame to go over there and. But I think I have to. I mean, although we could go in different directions. Oh, dear. He's not a first strike. I have a feeling she's going to knock him out on her next turn, right? Yeah. Does it make sense to split up a little bit? Usually it doesn't, but... Oh, split mean, the party. That's what I say. We have two shards over there, though. We do need to have at least one other person to go in the other direction, I think. Might as well, yeah. All right. Um, sure, I'll go over there and try to knock it out. Where's my... If you wouldn't mind moving me over. The angel. All right, let's Sarah. get my oh, income. I get a CP, and I get a card. Let's see here. What do I have? Anything with one CP that I want to do? Mm -hmm. Someone in the chat is pointing out. You got the gun pointed both directions. <laughs> That's nice. right. That's not the right well, voice. <laughs> That's court. right. <laughs> I gotta. I, I gotta make sure I cover my allies. Uh, okay, you Doug. <laughs> it's all on main phase. We're in the main phase. Okay. <laughs> I recently watched Thor Ragnarok again. All right, I'm gonna play to the oh, skies. I'm gonna I pay also my one. I did not use my evasive. That was a bad choice. All right, so part. chosen player gains flight. Uh, oh, time, someone though. pointed out that you could have used an evasive. I know. Token. I was just saying that. Um, I don't. Can I go back and try now? It's or? a cooperative game. What do we do? All right. Sure. Sure. All right. So I'm trying to roll a one or a two to evade all the damage, and that did not work. So I might as well just no try dice, new Doug. Huh? Nope. There you go. Well, you know, it's hey, worth a shot. Thanks, Chad. These are chat. the things that happen in the crazy world of Dice Stone so Adventures. So a flight status token. I can give it to anybody. Roll two dice to dodge or make undefendable. You can spend it any time during the roll phase. Once spent, you roll two dice. If a six was rolled, you activate it. If it was during the offensive roll phase, it becomes undefendable. If it's done during the defensive roll phase, ignore all incoming damage. Man, those are good. Chris, I'm giving you flight. Oh, you can fly? Because you're coming up next. All right, so. I'm a vampire, so. Here we go. Let's see if I, I need to do two damage to drag a lackey here. All right, so we've got a lot of blades. We've got a bit of wings. I've got glorious right now. I would gain flight. In the, oh, that's great. I love that. Okay, so I gain flight, and I deal six damage. Now, if I want to, I can make this undefendable, but I don't know that I care to use it at this point because he'd have to block four damage, right? I, think, I don't think he can block four. All right, so sure. I'm just going to keep my yep. flight for now. Somebody roll uh, defense oh. for me. Doug Lackey over roll here only rolls three dice anyway. Yep. Oh, three? Three. Mm -hmm. okay. so I don't think he can, even if he wanted to. A red, a white, and a white. I don't know that anything happens on those. We lose a gold. Do we? Oh, a red. Okay, so we lose a gold. All right. Down to five. Okay, so. <laughs> Greg so. Lackey is gone. Get out of here, you lackey. All right. Reward is a green loot, so that means we all roll if you can Ooh, get rid of this of course. piece of garbage. Let's get him out of here. I got a 17, which gives us I, oops, three gold. Well, that's a five. I've got an eight. You said a five? Yeah. That gives you plus one CP. Oh, thank you, sir. Excellent. Have it a nine. Nine can will get that. you, uh, oh, you get one health. Excellent. Well, all Mr. right. Burns, then Korg. Yeah, I don't know exactly what's happening here. I feel lost is all I can tell you. I feel lost. You know, all you're right. doing great. You're being holy. <laughs> you're smiling things or whatever. You're doing well, a good job. Yes. And what does the flight do? So again? the flight is during your it's during your roll phase, either offensive or defensive. You're either trying to make damage that you deal undefendable or you're trying to prevent damage to you. Excellent. Oh, all right, so that immediately goes on to the... Die of death. Well done, well which done. Which seems a little redundant to me, but picking the up that <laughs> shard. All right, the ivory planes. We get a gold. And we get a gold, gold. right Excellent. off the bat. How exciting! We see that we get a gold because over here it tells us we know we're gonna have a level one minion. Yes. Sir. And then you gain 
Backstrike and Wither, neither of which sound really, really fantastic. Right, so, so, so once in Wither is this... Uh, Alright, so go ahead and place that in its thing. designated area. We got area. Serpentine. Serpentine! Serpentine! Alright, nine health. She got no lips. And two CP. Alright, we got nine health, we got two CP here. Two CP here. Alright, Venom Kiss. It All right. Sound very no, nice. it doesn't. Okay, so serpentine is uh, what we're dealing with right now. All right. All right. So you get your income phase, Chris. All right. One CP. You got a lot of tokens over there. Draw a new card. You can spend two of it to upgrade my rend power. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, do either of those negative tokens affect you now, or? Not right now. All right, good. This, actually, this uh, decreases the damage I do by one, and this is a good, is a positive one. Mm -hmm. Every time that I get damaged, I can roll a die and damage back. Oh. Ah, okay, fantastic. That's real nice. Let's do some fighting, Serpentine. Nice. Right. Well, you get Remember, him, Remember, you got a plus it. two, though, you know? I do have that plus two mm -hmm. right there in the corner. Uh, That's pretty good. One, two, three, five, five. Yeah. Not quite a lot straight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would like that large straight though. So I could roll more, but I'm just going to tip it. Tip it. Tip it. Tip it. Tip it real good. Roy's back now wishing he's in a different room. Come on, Roy. Okay. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Lord straight. Wow. That's good. Well done. What's that? Lord power. Wow. Inflict bleed. Huzzah. Do you eight damage? Mm-hmm. Dice thrown adventure awaits. Adventure. You sure you don't want to make that? 10 damage? No, I'm going to make it 10 damage. All right, I like it. Well done there. 10 damage, all right. So it's gonna, it's trying to block, as long as it doesn't block more than one, right? And it can't. On a red, inflict poison. Okay, so you just hope you don't get poisoned. Exactly. Are you gonna roll for this one, Mike? I guess. How many is he rolling? All of them, yeah? Uh, three. Three. Roll three defense. Oh yeah, okay, here we go. Oh, you rolled a red. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. So you get a poison, unfortunately. At Although does your flight green. does your flight help you with that? No, that's only damage. All right, but he's dead. Yes, did he's out of here. Deed, deed. Goodbye, deed. Serpentine. Right, I'll take uh, our friend there. And so we have a garbage. level one loot. We have a one loot. Fourteen. Ooh, loot. We'll get us All, right, gold. all I can do is roll gold. Ooh, I got a natural twenty, y'all. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. So you get a rare card, but it goes face down underneath your right, board. So it would be, the rare? it would be one that you could reveal potentially at the end of the game. It's really more for the for the campaign. Yes. Oh, but I see. So I should just not bother. Let's not worry about it now. All we right. might show yeah, it off at the end of the game. We might pick a rare card out of there just to show what it would look like. Sounds good. Chris, what did you get? A six. A six is going to give you a CP, sir. Excellent. Brought my own lucky die. But normally that'd be cool if you had a rare card. It'd be something at the end of the game that you could potentially reveal. Deck. Spend and gold. Yeah. And to get permanently cool. into mm -hmm. your upgraded deck. Mm -hmm. Very nice. All right. All right then. All right. That's an excellent turn. Back Who's to turn? me? I believe it I is. I believe it's my turn again. Well. We skip the minion step on purpose because there is no annoying. minion. It's dead. I'm going to move up How here. How much more is do we have to give Chris to make him stuck in Kiwi mode? My so fear, Roy, is that, that he's going to get stuck in Kiwi mode whether we want him to oh, or not. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's like Didn't they say, if you cross you over, your darling. eyes, you may not be able to uncross them. Oh, there can't be too well, much of a good thing well, here. Here you go. I beg to differ, Roy. That's all Roy. nice and green for you. All right. Uh, one gold. So we've got 11. <laughs> yeah. All right. Gain Entangle and That's a level me. one minion. Uh, Entangle looks like these vines. There you go. You probably don't want that. I imagine not. There's that. And Tangle means, Jenny, yeah. that you get one fewer roll attempt during your next oh. offensive roll phase. Oh, but, that's not good. But at the conclusion, 
You get rid of I'm it. So you're rid. rolling twice. So I like struggle through, and at the end, I'm like, get off me, you're vines. You're caught in these Here's our vines. minion. It is the Goblin Enchanter. I think I read that right. The yeah. Goblin Enchanter. Ten health. All right. One CP, which again normally doesn't come into play, but we'll we'll track it anyway. Ooh. He does some undefendable damage. We don't love that. People are making fun of you my You know what I'm Australian, gonna do? Or no, uh, my vampire uh. voice. My vampire. I'm gonna You're play because right, I gotta do my main phase still. Yeah, did you do your income phase already? I did. Okay. I actually got a card and a CP this turn, which was very exciting. Standing. All right, so I'm gonna play. Get that out of here. And I'm gonna remove a status effect. Bam! Get done. out of here, entangled. Oh, all right. It was nice no, tangling with you, but I'm done. <laughs> I've had enough of you. Mm. All right. Then um, that was one Tom CP Vessel to play that. So let me make room. sure I'm <laughs> being it? honest. Yeah, who knows? All right. And then I can't really. I mean, I could play this. I just noticed that she I put might the. Save it. Put the salves over the gunslinger. What? Eyes. That's what my eyes look like. <laughs> Got some nice goggles there. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna just roll. I don't this. know what I've stumbled into here. <laughs> here we go. Lots of stuff here. Mm. I got a one, three, three, four, six. I also got three bullets, a bullseye, and a running dude, a dash. Um, I think I'm going for. I think I'm going for, I'm going to go for Bounty Hunter. Well, that's just one undefendable damage, which ain't that great, y'all. Someone in the chat said, so, the call Jenny plays should have been called, Go on, get! <laughs> go on, get! <laughs> yeah, I like that. All right, let's just roll. Well, oh, dear, y'all, I'm not doing too good over here. All right, I'm going to try and, I'm going to keep these two bullets in this dash, and I'm just going to. Hope that I get something, y'all. Something. Something gotta, something. something gotta happen. Oh, that's a yellow. Yeah, yes. You, 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 Is that it? I got take cover. All I right. got take cover. I did it. I pulled it off, and I get evasive. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm like, mm -hmm. and I gain ev evasive, and I deal. Oh, but you know what, y'all? I forgot my reload at my upkeep phase. Oh yes, you get so ability. I got, I deal five damage plus. I'm gonna reload, and I'm gonna do hopefully three more, which is no, two just more, two. Right. So seven damage that um, the goblin needs to try and All right. avoid if he can, or she. I don't know. Two yellers and a white. Two yellers. Two yellows. Oh, deal one damage back. This goblin's yeller. All right, so do, do they, I defend against that or no? I just take it. Well, I think. Yeah, I think you just all correct. Right. I think That's not good. I'm How down much to damage seven. did you do? Uh, seven. Seven. Wow, down to three. Seven damage to that goblin. Nicely done. And then he attacks me, right? Unfortunately. Pretty rude. All right, he's trying to roll white, two yellows, and a red. I'm out of aid. I'm not gonna forget this time, y'all. What? Two yellows? I'm not happy about this. I always red. roll really well for the monsters. Who? Come on, no, no red. red. No, no red. Red. New red. Yes! Yeah. Ba, 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 ba. So it doesn't do anything. It has to roll that. Yep. All right. That's fantastic. Thank That's you, sir. That's fantastic. All right. All right. It's up to the mighty <laughs> Seraph. Well, do I start coming on over here towards that last shard? Yeah, I think, I mean, I think I'm fine with the goblin. I don't think I need help. We might as well explain. We'll eventually need to go up there, too. What are your thoughts? A nice treasure over there. Yeah, I'm not so worried about that treasure. I'm more worried about going up there eventually. But go ahead and move me down to that one, if you would, please, Chris. I'm going to fly. Woo! Yeah! What do we got? All right, Delicio, see, see what you got. Yeah. Instant win. No, I do that joke oh, every man. time. All right. Awesome. The merchant stall. You may pay two CP to gain a treasure. If desired, you may sell cards at this time. Well, not going to be selling cards, but I don't have any CP. So that's a bad time to go to the merchant stall when you're dead broke. Well, this is a shame. All right, so let's find out what our level one minion is going to be. Got a First man. of all, we got to get rid of this one. No, he's still alive. He's still alive. Yep. He's oh, he is still alive. alive. Okay. He's with the gun sling. Lizard man, chomp. All right, he's got 15 health. He's a very large man. All right, and ooh, I don't like Lizard Man. He's not cool. Punch you right in the face. I don't like Lizard Man. He's too strong. He's much too strong. The Lizard Man. Okay. And he takes over the Denver Airport. <laughs> don't like it. All right. 
What if, I mean, all right, I'm going to get a combat Everybody point. Everybody have a chance to have fun. They're saying you're being the grumpy old man. <laughs> I, I told you I can role play when I want to. All right, I'm role playing the grumpy old man. All right, here we go. You're, you're role playing your co-host. That's right. I'm role playing <laughs> Dan Hughes. Dan Hughes. <laughs> People called me the straight man the other day. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Crack that. <laughs> All right, here we go. So I am going to be rolling some dice. I'm going to be punching a lizard. 16 hill. It's a look. Oh, he's going down. I don't think it's you possible. Got, you got this. All right. I've got two, three, four, five. So I have a small Ooh. straight right off the bat, That's which really nice. I like that because I can roll a one or a six here. Actually, I'm I'm definitely going to be good. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm going to try to roll a one or a six here. Look at that. Whoa! Look at that. That's a large strike. All right. That's, that's what the serif sounds like? Oh, it is now. I gain a flight. Okay. I inflict blinding light. All right. So um, when this. Raise up like a deuce and never run in the night. Now you're just showing off that you know the actual words to that song. All right, so but you looked those up. You didn't know those. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So he's going to get hurt on his next uh, offensive roll phase, potentially. Potentially. Um, now, I'm going to be dealing eight damage plus yeah, two, are. plus two, it's ten damage. ten damage. Now, however, what I want to do is make that undefendable. That so, seems like a good I'm going to spend this flight, okay? Come back to Earth. Now, this is on an offensive roll phase. I'm rolling two dice. If a six is rolled, then it becomes undefendable, okay? Ooh. Ooh. Right, come, come on, on come on, come on, come on, come on! Come on, six. I'm going to do this again. All right. Oh, okay. Back to Earth again. Here we go. Roll a six. Roll a six! No, it didn't work. All right, that's a shame. That's I wasted two flights. All right, however, they still, you know, I still have ten damage coming at them that they're going to try to defend now. All right. They roll one die, and on white, they do two Oh, damage. they're not going to be able to defend it anyway. That was really dumb to waste my flight on that. You know what? Listen, we all need to be grounded. It's really important. Oh, I'm grounded. All right, right that, so he hits me for two. Bad idea. <laughs> Glad I wasted those two flights. <laughs> it was not a waste. It, anytime so, you take care of yourself, it is not a waste. I appreciate your attempt. All right. <laughs> um, so he's down to five, right? I did do ten damage. Let's not that lose. Was really let's not good lose. Turn. You know. You did a lot of stuff. Wow. That was so dumb. Okay. <laughs> but it, now, uh, now it gets it gets his Ooh, attack. That's correct. Unfortunately, but. Uh, is it He's got blinding light. Is it me? No, no, he he. I attacked him. Now he's going to attack me, right? He's correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. So go for it. Should I roll? Right. But he's I... got blinding light. The next time a player afflicted with this uh, concludes their offensive roll phase, you're going to have to roll one die, and uh, I want you to roll a one after you've done that. All okay. Right, well, I got four whites and a yellow. What am I looking? You need to keep the two whites. You're trying to roll a red. All right. No red. No, no red. red. No red. No whammies. No Stop. Red. Ooh, okay. No come red. on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh. Okay. No good. red. Perfect. Um, and then one die. Yeah, we'll, we'll roll one die, yep. A four. So it doesn't do anything. Uh, on a one, it would have no effect. On a two or three, any damage they deal for the remainder of the roll phase would have been reduced by half. So oh. we do remove that, uh, this, this thing now, okay? Okay, that wasn't too bad. That was good. Not bad. Now it's your turn, Jay. No, Chris, Chris? sorry. Vampire Lord. That's why I've got this very menacing voice. Destroy the Lizard Man. This very menacing voice. Destroy the Lizard Man, but don't forget your income phase. Yes, I moved. Income. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Boop. Boop. My dial doesn't make cool noise. Mm. It's electronic. Stay. I need an upgrade. All right then. Certainly, with all. Oh wait, what does the poison do to you? Oh, one damage at the start of your turn, I believe. It does. A uh, player afflicted with this token is dealt one damage per token during the upkeep phase of their turn. Persistent. Oh, we need to get that off of you, Chris. Yeah, we do. I've got a few ways, maybe. Do you? All right. Well, battle time. Bum, 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 bum. 
that heal too. You singing Little Mermaid. I was. That's weird. Hmm. <laughs> oh, he's only got five health left. Mm, that's too bad. Oh. Excellent. I think that's what I want to do. I'm going to go for three of my eyeball symbols. Huzzah. Oh. A little early on that huzzah, Chris. Mm. Yeah. Come on now, huzzah. eyeball symbol! Hey. Mm. Mm, yes. yes. All right. Glamour. Glamour. Mm. So Gain glamorous. CP. Gain Mesmerize. You've got every token in the game on your board. No, I do. Deal four undefendable damage and two extra damage. He's way dead. Oh, he's like overkill. Mm-hmm. Four, yeah, yeah, six. Yeah, you have six. no way of getting rid of that poison, though, do you? Uh, I'll be able to get rid of it on my next turn if I need to. Got so many cards. I don't have any cards. Bye-bye. Right. Boop, boop. Is that a, are we in the correct phase? Uh, reds. Oh, it's an instant action. You yeah, can take it any time. All yep. right. Beautiful. Very nice. All right, so what is our loot from that lizard man? Looks like a sing, uh, level one loot. I rolled a 15. Hey, more gold. What a shock. Look at that. I got a 19. See? Man, you both would get common cards out of there to That's put right. you, face down. Like All right. Um, do you want me to, sorry, do you want me to trash the lizard man since he's He's dead, dead. yeah. Let's get him out of here. He's All just, right. So, Jenny, are you coming over here to get that last portal? Well, I think... I need to kill this guy, right? I can't leave. No, just leave him. He's oh. all right. Oh, Is I Jenny's can? microphone dead? Uh oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it looks like one of them's gone. All right, let's. Probably batteries. Probably yes, batteries. We'll get you batteries. some new batteries. In the meantime, we're going to vamp with a duet between Mike Delicio right. and the Vampire Lord. Ready, go. I believe the children are our future. I'm six feet from the <laughs> edge, and I'm thinking. <laughs> Can you take me high? No. Thanks, Roy. No, I refuse. All right, nice we're back. I think that's Get me two all patched up. Songs. Appreciate that. <laughs> they all mushed right. together. For that they were, yes. <laughs> all right, I forget what we were doing. Oh, I can just leave him? No, you can't. I was being silly. Oh, that would have been really you have cool. To, you have to, you have to. I was excited I could just leave him. All nope. right. So I'll get my next reload. Thank you. And, and then I will get your actually get phase. some income. So I'll grab that and a card. Okay. Exit. Microphone should be back on. Oh, it was just the microphone. Um. Then I'm gonna play Vegas, baby. There we go. And I'm gonna roll a die and get that much CP. Well, half. Round it up, though. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. I got two. I got two. I have zero. Two. I mean, I have two already, so now I have four. All right. I know math. I know, man. Right. This is so the dawn of the Aquarius. Come on. I'm going to do a little bit of this. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh
He can roll. Oh, but he will poison me, but whatever. Nothing I can do about that. And on four of a kind. Yeah, he poison me. Nothing I can do about that. Of mm. numbers. That's, oh, I'm so close to four of a like. kind, y'all. Now I've got the I am going to re-roll. <laughs> that Thanks, was, Jack. uh, y'all, was that my first roll? Uh, yeah, that was, yes, your, first that was okay, your first roll. Right. That's my second roll. Well, don't allow snakes in New Zealand. And my third. Oh, hey, oh, oh, look at that, y'all. I got five bullets. So, I mean, it's kind of useless. He has two health, but let me just tell you how cool I am. So, I deal six damage, and I have four one of a, four numbers of a kind. I have four ones, y'all. So, I also inflict knockdown, which doesn't matter because he's dead, but mm -hmm. I did do all that. Yep. Now, I can he defend against it at all? Yeah, or? if he has knockdown, can he defend? That's he a good question, down, actually. What's so, knockdown is um, he has to spend two combat points or skip his offensive roll phase. Defensive. Okay. How he much CP did he have? Only one, right? I think so. Yep. So he couldn't he couldn't do it even if he wanted to. So he's going to skip his offensive roll phase, but he's going to be dead by the time He'll we roll this, anyway. this defense. All right. Yeah. All right. Three dice. Don't want red. No red, <laughs> oh, hey. I gave you one of everything. Sorry. Could I suggest you don't say huzzah? Because you haven't. Wa it's usually uh -huh. when you don't that you get what you want. I think. Huzzah! Right. So on a red, I get poison. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> but he still dies, poison. and that's the goal. Oh, sorry. Thank that you. token is poison. Because I can't evade a poison. Bill I don't think. Anybody? I think it's just damage. No, in the chat. Bill Bib DeVoe? No? Okay. But let's get him out of here. He's depressing me. <laughs> and then and then I'll just hang on to my cards. I'm not going to sell them. Mm -hmm. I feel like that would be rude. So I'll just hang on to them. That's it for me. Oh. And we're back! Okay. Um, do I go for the big nasty there? I'm down to 10 health, but I could spend my salve. Make it for the way I pronounce it. I could pronounce, I could spend my salve. What is our salve ability? Did we get rid of our portal call, crawl card? Yes, it would have no. told us three health. Uh huh. Plus one additional health for each of these crystals. Hello. Ooh. And I can go I above my. I can go turn. above my. You can go above starting. Yes, up to ten. I above. think now's not a bad time because you, you could lose tokens on these cards. Yeah, that's true. I'm gonna spend a salve. That's gonna get me to fifteen <laughs> health, right? Because I'm, I'm gonna bump up my health by five. Correct. Excellent. You, you said it was three plus one for that, right? Mm -hmm. Fifteen health. Uh, 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 Fifteen health. All right. Um, we're going to go here. We're going to get that last shard. It was 15 health by Hugh Lewis in the news. <laughs> I want a 15 health. Oh, man, that's beautiful. <laughs> All right. Oh, the Everglades. Oh, hey, yes. Hey, we know what those are. The Everglade ruins. Oh, Whoa. Ah. I was excited for a moment, and then I saw First Strike oh, Level 2 <laughs> Minion. Jiki Don't love that. All right, let's gain some treasure. Treasure. 16 on a 2 gets me 3. Oh, dear, y'all. I got a natural 1. One's not bad. That's a plus 1 damage token. Plus 1 damage token. It's for you. What did you Thanks, get, Chris? Sir. 5. Combat 5 point. gets you 2. Uh, no, 1 combat point. You're right. All right, this so we've got a level two here. minion that's going to come out, and it's going to have first strike, whether it does or not. A wither elf. I don't like the way that sounds at all. Okay, so they're trying to roll straights, Chris. I don't know if you'll need to remind yourself how to how to do that when you're rolling for it. There's a particular way. No, no. There's a particular keep, way you I have to keep, oh, keep oh, dice and yeah. stuff for that. So, all right. Uh, so they've got 13 health, unfortunately. You can take him out easy. You think? And uh, two CP. <laughs> two CP. All right, all right. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do some damage to this well, this withered elf, wither elf, elf of wither. There's an extra health dial. Oh, okay, cool. All right, here we go. Let's get my CP. Oh, that was a good. That was a good crackle well, I can there. Crack a knuckle or two. <laughs> I get a card. Intimidating. <laughs> well, I didn't want to be the one to say it. Um, ooh. Ooh. Oh. Yes. 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 Archangel's will too is what we're going to try for. Oh, I'm nice. trying. I'm trying for. See, I got a large straight on my last turn. Surely I'll get another large straight on this turn. I believe in That's you. That's how statistics works. Yep. Oh. Uh, that was a bad play. All right. <laughs> Oh, wait. So strike. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> that was the saddest oh. thing I've ever seen. Great. Sorry. That was so sad. Chris oh. was just waiting to. You 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 know how to roll for the straights for them, right? I thought so, but now okay. I'm less confident. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, one, two, three looks awful, Chris. Oh, dear. Thank you. All right, one, two, you three. already have a micro straight. And so, obviously, just re-roll these. Mm -hmm. straight. I think so, yeah. That was one. And you keep the four. Oh, excellent. Not excellent, Chris. Let's hope I roll a, not roll a five or a Don't zero. roll a five. All right. So you've done a small straight. So what's going to happen to me? Can you roll a zero? I don't oh. think so. <laughs> Inflict parasite. Oh, you and them parasites. What's up with that? Oh, this is awful. It won Listen, the if you need to talk. Seven, seven damage. The gunslinger so, is here for you. Here we go. Shouldn't have to do I deal three damage own. back. That sucks. So I do th three damage to him. I'm down to eight, right? Uh, yeah, down to eight health. Wow, that's really bad. If I hadn't taken that, um, if I hadn't taken that salve, I might be dead. Well, it's a good thing you it. did. All right. Oh, man, that's awful. So what's the parasite do to me? Parasite. During upkeep phase, which would actually happen, if a player inflicted with this token has a positive status effect, they receive a damage. Additionally, if you spend a positive status effect to successfully prevent or add or to avoid damage, remove parasite, and they receive three damage as an isolated source of undefendable oh, damage. Oh my gosh. That's Yikes. rough, y'all. That's rough. I've got no positive effects. So basically, I'm going to have to spend, take three damage to use a positive effect to get rid of it. So I actually already did my upkeep phase where so I. So it'll be next turn, right? No, no. It's just. I just went out of order because of the first strike. So basically, right now, it doesn't affect me, but because I don't have a positive. But if I gain a positive effect. On this turn, if I choose to spend it, it's going to cost me. It's going to take three damage from me. Man, that's All tough. right, I'm still trying to get this large straight. All right, that's not great for a large straight. I've got two, one, two, five, six. Maybe I change my. I already have purify. The section not a bad idea. It's yes. not a bad idea because it would yeah. heal me. And remove a negative status effect. Yeah, you. <gasps> you should do that. Give me that parasite. You tell right. that parasite to get gone. Purify. <laughs> All right. Actually, I like that as a white, <laughs> as a white transition. Purify. Okay. It looks very um, natural. So I do five undefendable damage to this stupid elf. And then... How do you know that? No, I don't. I heal four, and I remove this stupid thing. Well, that's definitely... Parasite's definitely stupid. There's a noise on the other side of that door. I'm a little concerned. Someone's trying to get uh, in. So now I'm at 12 health. All right, but I got rid of the parasite. You never see me when get rid of a parasite so easily. All that right. That was very impressive. Well, I thought so. I'm done. Yes. I yep. think I think you've done quite. Look at enough. everyone rush over to help me. Look Don't at everyone rush bike. over, rushing over, running so quickly. <laughs> you stay. All right. All right. Here we go. I'll come over here and fight the wither elf. Please, you got one like, of my guns. Literally every token in the game, plus some that haven't even existed, over there on your board. He has first strike, though, unfortunately. He does. All right. All right. So uh, I believe you're going to roll four. All right. Here we go. Just don't roll straight. Watch me roll a one, two, three, four, five right here. <laughs> I mean, you do have some, like, large straight juju, so just be careful. Oh, I like that. So I'd keep the four, five. Yep. All right. That's actually... All right. I don't want to get ahead of myself. <sighs> oh. Are you kidding me? Excellent. A long straight. <laughs> Yeah, you know. What were you just making fun of me about? I, I know. I told no. you. I told you. I always roll really badly when it comes to rolling for the monsters. This well is done. this is not going to be good, Chris. I imagine it's not going to be good. Possibly. Mm -hmm. Probably not great. <laughs> All right. So what happens here? All right. Nine damage and wither. Wait. Hold on. Oh gosh. Would it help? I could affect the dice. Would it help? Do you have an instant action? I do. That would anything that could change this would right. be good. Can I decrease or change one of the dice in the middle so it's not a straight anymore? Oh. Okay, so we can do that. So then you can change this to whatever we want. Three to right? a four. Okay, that's good. That's good. Oh, is that's that, really good. Yeah. Is that better? That's much better. But I still have one more roll, don't I? Had I rolled three times? Oh no, you only roll how many times? Oh, Wait do you have another one? I thought that was your last roll. It's a first strike. Oh, no, no. Oh, that was my second roll. So it's because you got the thing. All right, so I so do now have one more roll, that. right? Yeah. Yeah. 
please. That's good. Oh, that's five. Excellent. Jenny, that was great. You know, Teamwork. I... That was great, Jenny. That saved a lot of grief. Okay. All right. So now, do any of these affect you at the beginning of your... Um, like that wither, perhaps? I don't wither, know. no. Only no. when I do damage. Okay. This is to strike back against okay. damage. Mesmerize. Force an opponent to reroll the die. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, you could have used your flight during the defensive roll phase, too. That would have been good, too. Well, I didn't defend. That's what I'm saying. If you had to, you could have. Okay. All right. Excellent. Well, time to do some attacking. Punch oh. the elf. Income. Huzzah. Huzzah. <gasps> Bloodthirst. There's a whole lot of hug on here. Bloodthirsty. Right. I don't want to say we have 40 minutes to defeat this big bad, but we've got 40 minutes to defeat this big bad. Well, it's because we're gonna. Oh, you, I see a lot of blood over there, Chris. No. So that I'm makes gonna just sense. work towards that. Mm -hmm. hmm. Maybe not. <laughs> well, either way, if I roll blood, great. If I roll a hand, great. Excellent. Hey, hey bleed you. two. Rend two. Rend two. Rend. <laughs> I said bend. I said bleed two. Rend oh. two. Figure you know, a vampire. Oh. Deal six damage, mm. then roll five dice. Add a damage for each hand. Ooh. For each eyeball, draw a card. Wow. So eight damage and three cards. That's pretty good. That's a great power. That's pretty good. Who's rolling good defense? There. Is it me rolling defense, unfortunately, for this stupid thing? Yeah, I think so. He's rolling what? How many? Five on his defense? Woo! Yep, on double yellow, prevent hit the damage. Them yellers. Oh, uh, well, you know, Mike, maybe. maybe. <laughs> All, All right. right, eight damage, three just four, uh, takes four. All right. All right, he's down to nine. This wither elf is no joke. All right, so. Jenny, you want to come over and fight an elf? I suppose I will. Oh. I'm going to get my reload. That's right, and we're still supposed to take this. And then I'm going to get my income. Oh. And. <laughs> Each one of these would reduce my damage by one. Oh, so we have to give him back to that's 11, him or her. I don't, can't tell with her, with her elf there. Damn. Man, that's rough. Main phase. I'm going to upgrade Dead Eye. Now, we could have, you could have tried to make that undefendable damage, actually, Chris. Oh, I take a damage on my turn as By well. spending that. Oh, oh that's right, true. So. Eh, next time. Okay. I'm poisoned, so I took a damage, but I am going to use one of my sa sa salves. Sal my Sid? salve token. So I get three back. No, you get six because six? we have three on there now. Oh. Three plus however Even many better. shards. All right, so now I'm all healed up here. I feel much better after that concussion and then, mm -hmm. you know, all scene. that other stuff. All right, so now I'm going to move. Do I want to play this? No, I don't want to play this. All right, I'll move on over here. What's going on over here? Oh. All right, I say after we defeat this Wither Elf, we've got to go shoot we got an up there. We're not going to have time. Yep. I mean, do you want me to go up to the one and try and... It's not a bad idea, actually. Maybe I should just go up there I think, and just I mean, try Between the two of us, right, we can probably knock this one down, don't you think? Yeah, probably. Maybe there's not even <laughs> a monster under here. Oh, I think we know better than that. <laughs> but you're right, actually. Stained Altar. Oh, no. Sorry. I, I, I didn't read far enough. Spoke too soon. Mm -hmm. So two gold or, or alternately, receive two, receive two damage uh, and explore an unexplored adjacent tile. I mean, we'd all get a treasure or we could just... We'd get a level two treasure and a salve. Now, yeah. that'd be a very nasty monster. Or we could go this but way. But no one would be there. Or we could just go explored. that way. Mm -hmm. Oh... Jenny, it's your call because you'd have to take yeah. the damage, but. How much is it, too? Two. Yeah, let's do it. I think that's great, actually. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. All right, so if you replace that. Now we're going to each get a level one treasure, which for me is a six. Twelve. Which is a SCP. Twelve, you said, Jenny? Yes, yeah, sir. You used a gold. Well. Four. Four is a plus two token. Excellent. And we've come across a wandering Ronin. Uh, um, no, because it's a level two, right? We're actually no, for exploring the, the, for we, the first one. We're skipping that basically because oh, it's alternately, it. so my, that goes my away. Bad. I'm sorry about that. All it right, is. so level two instead is going to be a scoundrel. All right, what does it say on the tile there? Search the deck for an ability upgrade card that costs two CP or less. Put it into play, then shuffle your deck. All right, well, that's not bad. So we're play we're facing off against the scoundrel here, who's the first striker, looking for straights. 
All right, so, well. All right. You get to search your deck for a uh, one of these white bordered upgrade cards that cost two or less and put it out. That's pretty great. That is pretty great. All right, well, take However, showdown. However, that scoundrel's about to uh, go after you, unfortunately. Okay, right. shuffle your deck. He's going for straights. He's going for straights. He's very good at that. Now, I do mm -hmm. have evasive, so there's that. Let's not forget that. Ooh, that's good. One, fours, and sixes. So you, What's the priority? You, I think you keep either the one or the six. Let's double check for straights. Um, when the roll objective is straights, uh, keep exactly one of each two, three, four, and five. Only keep a one or a six if it's already part of a small or large straight. So keep the four. Keep the four. Makes sense. You can build mm -hmm. that in the direction. You can rebuild. Uh, so, so you keep the three. three. Ones or sixes are only if it's part of a chain. Ones and sixes, please. Okay. Two, three, four, five. Oh. 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 Six. That's awful. <laughs> okay. All right. Lord straight. Deal CP is damage. So All right. So five. Because it starts with five. Oh, five okay. Damage. So we actually need to set up. What's his health over there? Uh, fourteen. Fourteen. <laughs> and then we got a, how much CP did you say? Five. Five. And you do get to defend. Oh, right. So go ahead and put these out there for him. All right, here we go. I'm going to duel this scoundrel. I got a four. Oh, and they have to roll. Oh, oh, that's right. Come on, get lower. Oh, uh, no. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> so I, I deal one damage back, though. So All right, excellent. 13 for this scoundrel. And then um, I think I'm going to try and evade... And I didn't. I got a six, of course. So that's unfortunate. All right. Yep. So beginning of your turn, you'll have to deal with that poison, unfortunately. Indeed. That's it for me. No, no. He was first strike, right? Oh, You're, I didn't not, even go That's yet. what I'm saying. You have to do. Did you take the poison hit already? I did that already okay. at the start of my turn. Yeah. Did you do your income turn yet? I did. Okay. I've done all the all the things. All right. Let's see. So we got two of those. We got two of those. I'm almost at take cover. Ooh, and I couldn't get Mark the target. Let's see. Yes, yes. Lightning, lightning, lightning. Oh, hey, yeah. Lightning. There we go, y'all. All right. So, 13 health. I do have some reloads and a plus one, though. I might be able to just. All right, so I get evasive again. I love that evasive. It is uh, nice. It's real nice. And then I'm going to deal six, and I'm going to spend both my reloads plus whatever I... 33% of the time, it works 100% of the time. <laughs> okay, so that's a one and two, so that's nine, and then that's ten. All right. All right. Ten damage. Ten damage. Defense. If I roll two reds, it ignores all the Don't damage. Don't do that. Don't do that, then. Fantastic. Ooh. All right. Uh, steal two CP, though. Oh. CP, all right. So he's down to three. And he takes all my CPs here. And then he gains them. Oh, this right. Steal. <gasps> oh, he does damage. He does do damage. Yeah. Yep, that's why he's doing it. That scoundrel. All right, it's back Such to me. scoundrel. All right, that's so the most thematic minion I fought. Yet. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. True. That's it makes really sense. Good. He really is Definitely good. makes sense. All right, so the Wither Elf is the first striker, Chris, so or Jenny, whoever's rolling for, for the I Wither Elf. I guess I will. Yep. Straights. So you, oh, so you keep the one of three. the threes. Yep. Oh, goodness, y'all. All right, here we go. Trying to roll nicely. Three, four, five. I'm sure I won't roll anything else, you know. Six. All right. Mm. So small straight. All right, what's he do? Uh, parasite, God. seven damage. Really? Man. Man, I'm almost dead. And all I do is I deal three back. Oh, that's actually useful. Seven. Down to seven health. Seven health. I'm down to four health. Wow. That's less useful. That is very, That's very much good. less useful. I almost just feel like I need to try to heal again. Yeah. Probably should. That way I can get rid of this stupid parasite also, maybe. Oh, Man, I need to take parasite my is just so vicious. Yep. 
two, draw a card. Let's see, is there something I can do here? I want to hang on to that. Do you have the win the game card? I do not have the yeah, win the game card. Yeah, don't you always have the I always threaten to have win it. Card. Do I get rid, do I just That's something Mike DeLisi was right there. Like, that oh, draw that a card. very much is. Oh, <laughs> 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 yeah. All right, um, so I think. Too many cats. Uh, okay. Ooh, that's a good one. Just this is the main phase. Do I get rid of this right now and just play it safe? No, I'm going to hang on to it. All right. That's probably stupid. Probably. He basically means I can't have a positive. Of, no. Uh, if you I can't. spend a positive satisfact to... You get three damage when you do that, I think. <sighs> Something like that. You have to spend... If I'm oh if if I'm inflicted with it has a positive effect I would have got hit but I don't and I have to spend three to get rid of it or I can try to get a purify all right let's see what happens here come on come on wow look at that you're good at getting that purify I am doing that that's good okay so I get rid of this stupid parasite but I'm not doing yeah, any damage to this thing I'm just keep healing myself uh, so I heal to four that's right? all right we can't have you dying over I there I know I just got to count on Chris to come over and finish it off. All right, uh, that's it's it for me. I'm super with it. <laughs> right, exactly. I don't have a. This could could potentially be undefendable damage if you can trigger it. This is true. He uh, he is first strike too, by the way. Oh yes. All right, so I think it's on to you. He's trying to roll straights. Roll for the bad guy. Roll worse than that. Two, three, four. Two, three, four there. It'd be great if you didn't roll. Good. Two and four. All Excellent. Right, there you go. Uh, well. All right. Seven damage. And parasite. And okay. Oh, you're, you have a parasite? Yeah. I that means that you're going to take a damage because that's what the parasite does if yeah, you have a positive effect. Effects, yeah. You got a lot of effects. Huzzah! Inflict bleed. Hey, That's right. Hey, excellent. Bleed and dry. Health. All right. So seven damage, but I heal one. So I'm down two. Does he go down at all or no? Yes. He goes down one. Mm-hmm. Six. No, steal it. All right. All right. All right. Start of income phase. So I take a damage. Yep. So I have parasite and lots of positive. Things. Yes, you do. Hey. Hey. All right. Are we gonna make it, guys? I don't know. All right. Let's try. It's gonna be close. Where's my other guy? Down there. Down there. Okay. I'm gonna grab my reload. So I'm gonna get two my. I'm just get ready for my turn. Transfer the pair side. Oh, right back to him. look at that. Nice. Maybe we should have done the wither. Nah. All right. I like reds. What's the mesmerize do? Uh, which one? Oh, uh, spend it. A oh, roll a die on a five or a six. I can force the opponent to re-roll. Oh, okay. So I keep that in mind. Yeah. yeah, could have been doing that. All right. Second roll. Ooh. Uh. Mm. Those are some creepy hands. I actually like this one better. So. Come on. Nope. Don't like that. Eyeball. Mm-hmm. I think he's gonna do something to change a die. Okay, it's been to CP. I'll get two more roll attempts. No. Oh. Nope. Hey! Excellent. All right. Well Six done. damage plus uh, three. Nine. Nine minus two, seven. Plus two. Oh. oh, he did. Well, but he has to defend. He has to defend. Oh, right? he could defend. But you could try to use your flight to make it undefendable. Yes. And so for this, what you need to do is you roll two dice. Um, if a six is rolled, then it's undefendable. Come on now. Come on, 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 come on. Oh. oh man, they add to six. That counts for something, right? Okay. So plus two damage. Yeah. Plus we need that. So yeah. minus two damage. Or wait, wait, wait. No. Uh, no, no, no. I'll keep that. Because if he defends successfully, it's still... Okay. Right. So how, how much damage is it coming through to him right now? Seven. Okay. So we sure... 
So roll five dice if he rolls two yellows. Don't. And tip the damage. You know, it's real easy. Just don't roll any yellow. Oh, okay, I gotcha. <sighs> there's, there's, I mean, it's almost impossible not to roll two yellows here. But I did it! Yay! <laughs> that was well done, you. Had to, had to, had to come out. All right. All right, so he's gone, yeah? He's gone. He's, Roared is a level he's two. Gone. Uh, Trezure. Okay, roll a loot dice. Natural 20, y'all. 20. <laughs> wow, this is a level two? Yeah. Yes. So I get, we would get cards. cards. For, I'm getting a plus two. Yeah, a lot Ooh. of cards. Oh, gosh. I do I actually like a plus two better for the purposes of what we're doing here. All right. All yeah. right. So I already did my upkeep and my income. All right, Chris. So we're going to go try to take out Ooh. that level three. It's true. I hit a big I'm strike. I'm going to do my main phase. I'll save that for the big guy. All right. Now. I really wish I had a little more health. Um, Don't love eight health. Where are you at? Oh, you're at seven. Yep. All right. Oh, so cool. this guy has first strike, so he's going to attack me. That's you, Chris. Oh, Oh wait. I'm going to use a salve first. Use a salve. That's so a good idea. So I heal 12. Wait. Or, uh, no, no, six. no. Six. 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 I knew that. 12 would be great if you can do that. That would be great. So I'm Cameron, back to 10. It's a parasite. It's the worst test effect in the game. Cameron, I tend to agree with you. Yep. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. Parasites are no fun. I think we all can agree on that. Mm hmm. All right, so He's now he go up, Now he attacks me. <laughs> I already took my poison, y'all, so don't worry all about right. that. All right, so yeah, he goes ahead and attacks me. And you right? got your reload? Yep. Your I'm all good. Excellent. All right. Straights. Keep that four. Keep it four. Oh, gosh. Oi. Two, three. Okay, that's Ooh. not too bad. Ooh. Small straight. Small straight. All right, so I'm going to try and... Take half CP as damage. Oh. All right, so I'm going to defend. Yes, so you have to roll defense. a die. Oh, yeah. Because it's a duel. A duel. High noon over here. Yay! Yes. Yeah. All right, so I can either deal three damage or one, prevent right? half of mine. So, and he only has three. Mm -hmm. It's undefendable, so I'm just going to attack. I'm just going to duel him for three and just take him out, Oh, there we go. Take him out, y'all. Get out of here, boop, you boop, scoundrel. Boop. And we all get a level two reward. Level two, level health, two. Health, I health. rolled a ten. Oh, that's not great. Oh, I got health. I got three health. I rolled a three. That's outstanding. I'm sorry, I'm still so excited about rolling the health. You got a three on a level I did. two? You're going to get a plus two token. All right, thank Chris, you. Chris, what'd you get? Uh, three. So Much plus obliged, two. Plus sir. two token. Yes. I've there we go. You got four, right. out, four to do now. And I feel then, like when I say serious commentary, I have to use my real voice. I love these plus damage. I do too. They're great. They're great. All right, All right. I think that's it. Big nonsense then. All right, so um, are we just going to go for the level four minion? Let's I mean, it. we might as we well. We might as well, right? And I'm Let's gonna do get, it. But I you keep on, I'm at 11. I could get killed. Yeah, but you also get the save. I get the save. All That's right. That's right. So the let's save. go over there. The save. I'll get the save. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the save. That's your new voice for the rest Run. of the game. Run. I got the save. <laughs> So That's I'm gonna go ahead and use save. it. I'm gonna use it wrong. This is a save. I'm using a save. You call that a save? <laughs> so three and three is six, right? So every hero gets two seventeen combat points. Very nice. Three gold. I can use them combat. Base no save. Base a save. All right. All right. Are we ready for the? No, we're really not. Okay. It's a raging berserker. Well, sure it is. Hey, first strike. What a shock. Okay. It's got a passive ability on a failed offensive roll, uh, gain a chaos. And it also has a, a, what's that, King's Hand? Is that what that's called? Yes. yes. Uh, it's got a King's Hand symbol. Um, it's unique defenses. If you receive any damage as a result of an opponent's, oh, if he receives any damage as a result of that, he's going to gain a chaos token. Okay, so he's going to get a chaos token every time we hit him. Wow. And well, we better damage. kill him and in he three does turns, damage. Then. He does extra damage on those, yeah. Woo. All right, here we go. So let's give him his 30 health and his 4 CP. And his two King's Hand tokens. One here and one from there. Oh, yes. Which also means that if we roll our ultimates, he makes you re-roll one of the dice. That's that something That seems he can do. not fair. <laughs> That's Come correct. all this way. All right, here we go. So my income phase. Oh, no, he's a first striker. It's not mm. my income phase yet. 
Yep. All right. Uh, I'll roll for you. Whatever you do, don't do 17 damage to mm -hmm. me, please. Try please that. don't do that. Ooh. Chris, you rolled a lot of... What, red? Yeah. Yeah, oh. I'm, I'm toast. Ouch. All right. So what happens here? So roll two dice plus one from each chaos token. Okay, that's good. That's good. Do that's good. damage equal to the total value? No, no, no! Oh. Okay, that's not too bad, Chris. Four. Chris, that's not too bad. Uh, four damage. You know what? I was, that was a pretty I might be able roll. to block it. Can you say that louder for me? Not too bad! Okay, I rolled that again, so I deal three damage back to him. Excellent. Very nice. 27 health. Oh, sorry. His unique defense. Uh, that was not an offensive roll phase, so that doesn't trigger for him. Nice. Okay. Now it's going to, though. That's All right. Good. So now I get my CP. I get my card. Ooh. <laughs> oh, well, no. That sounds promising. No, I'm just making stuff Instant up. Instant win I'm, card. I'm, I'm, oh. No. I'm really, really, Come really just now. trying to make things go well. Oh, okay. Nice. We got one of the You know, it's power game. positive hey. thinking. What's that? It's power of positive power thinking. Power of positive thinking, indeed. Do I try to get a better glorious? Glorious. Do I try to get a better Holy Smite? I can put them both out there, but I feel like I kind of need to save my CPs in case I need some of these cards during my roll phase. You just did some ROMs there. I appreciate it. Ooh, I like that a lot. I like it a lot. Okay, um, let's roll. Let's roll, let's baby! Roll let's, roll, let's roll, baby! Luck be a lady tonight. <laughs> All right. One, two, three, four. I've got Glorious already. Gloria. That's not bad, because that's seven, six damage in a flight. That's pretty good. I've got, also got a small straight of a one, two, three, four, so. which is six damage, and then I can add to it. Ooh, and then I've got a really good large straight, so I, I think what I need to do is try to go for that five here. I dig it. Let I me get a five. It. Let me, let me. Yes! That was epic. Okay. That was an epic roll. You'll never see that again. And that was a really cool dance. <laughs> All right. So. No one will get that, game, I'm Michael. sure. Gain, gain a flight. <laughs> inflict a blinding light. Um, then deal nine damage. But wait, there's more. We're going to deal 11 damage. But wait, there's more. Do it. We're going to deal, deal. all the damage. We're going to deal... I'm gonna, you've been smote, you raging berserker. You smote him? All right, I'm going to roll five dice. Get smote upon. And I'm going to add, for every blade, I add an extra damage, right? Yes. That's what it looks like. All right, I can't inflict another uh, blinding light, unfortunately. Come and it's on. It's a waste, Michael. Nothing but, no, no, blades, man, mm. blades. I rolled a blade. Oh, I thought there were two. <laughs> That's fantastic. Know. Well... One's better than none. Yeah, uh, barely. That's what they say. All right, so how much did I do to him then? I did 9, 10, 11, 12. Now he's going to try to block that. What was his special? Yeah, he... Defense. If you receive any damage as a result of an opponent's offensive oh. roll phase... Oh. First, I'm going to do the flight, because this can make it undefendable. Yeah. Two dice. Two dice. If you get a six. If I get a six. Undefendable. Didn't happen. That's okay. It's okay. So, here we go. <laughs> 11. It'll work one of these times. Right. <laughs> so what happened, sorry? I just know uh, it. He took damage, mm -hmm. 12 damage, and he gets a chaos token. Is it 11 or 12? Mm. Yeah, 12. Okay, fantastic. This is a chaos token, yes? Yep. I wasn't actually looking. I just assumed you knew. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say that's a chaos token, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's a chaos token. All right, hey, I don't feel too bad about yeah, doing 12 sure damage is. to the guy. The and he also great. has a blinding light. The next That's time, half. the next time he rolls his offensive roll phase, he has to remove it and roll one dice. If he rolls a one, it basically cancels. It. it has no effect of that any type. That was a type. great move. Um, two or three, the, any damage they deal is reduced by half. So that good. That's, That's actually really good. That's actually really good. Okay, so it's you, right, Chris? All right. I'll join you over there. Yeah, he's a first strike. First strike. Mm -hmm. So first thing that happens. Oh, no, they, after they conclude their, their roll their yep. roll phase. Okay. So, Jim, oh. you get to roll. Oh, dear. Oh, going, yeah. What does he want? Whites and, and a red. No. Oh, keep the one red. I'll That's actually red. harder because those are harder to get. Okay. Two whites. Two whites, so you just don't want to roll any. Wait, one of those is a red. Oh, yeah, this one. Here we go. What do we miss? Many Trembly says don't spend your flight. He doesn't defend anything. He just takes damage. 
The chat is saying, keep the flight, Mike. Oh, okay. Lol. Lol? Okay. Did you? Yeah, you did it. Okay. You got it. Yeah. Uh, so what happens here? So basically, I think you roll two dice and the sum, and then you do you add one for each chaos? Is was that it, right? Was it all three rolls? Yeah. How bad? Uh, oh wait, uh, I can't spend these out of turn. Yeah, they have to be instant actions. Mm. All right. Ouch. Uh, seven. Seven, and then do you add one to it? I did not. No, 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 no. Not you. I'm just saying. Oh. What is it? I what think it's an extra die for chaos. Oh, is it an extra die? Yep. Oh. So seven. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Wait. Let me see. I activate I... shield. Do you have an instant? Do you have an no, instant? No, I don't have an instant. I believe we're dead. I the orange ones can't it. play out of turn, right? The orange has I, to be in I your roll phase. Orange has to be, phase. Has to be yeah. in the roll phase. Whereas reds can be. Reds can be out of reds turn. Reds are instant. I don't got Wait, nothing. wait, 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 wait. Was that his offensive roll phase? It was his offensive roll phase. <gasps> There's hope. He's blinded by lights. All right, all right. All right. So here's what's going to happen. You're going to roll one die. You <laughs> really, really, really want it to be a one. That wasn't a one. Mm -hmm. It was a four, which means nothing happens. We lose! <laughs> hey, look, I think, you know... Um, Listen, the Raging Berserker, hey, what do you expect? You know, so... That's a tough enemy, y'all. What had happened was we... Yeah, I got nothing. Look, I feel like we... Um, <laughs> I feel like we, we did as well as we could. I feel <gasps> like... Oh, who is it? Huh? Wait, oh. you're, you're rolling dice for my turn. He's attacking me, not you. Ah! I got it. Oh? One CP. <laughs> Select one of your opponent's dice and force them to re-roll it. Oh! So it he was had, all white and yeah, one all red. White and then a red. Re-roll the red! All right. I, forget, I totally red. thought it was her turn. Oh, no, no, no. She's rolling on your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I activate shield. Again. Uh, Mesmerize! <laughs> If I roll a five or a six, he has to re-roll the die. Hey! <laughs> Watch her roll that. Watch her roll a six. If you roll again. that six again, I'll be right mad. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm so sorry, y'all. More endings than a Wow. I'm yeah, sorry, y'all. This is like an M. Night Shyamalan -la 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 movie, this thing. Here. I try to save us. I'm what just is not going strong on? enough. It's because I'm not in there. I can't even see what you're doing. Jenny is definitely the traitor. All I'm right. <laughs> wow. Well, that was an exciting end. I don't think we can uh, argue that, right? No, that was, that was a very that was, exciting end. That was end. a lot of fun either way. That was a lot of fun. That wow. was a much better ending. I had a great mm -hmm. time. It was oh, fantastic. My <laughs> All right. Well, everyone, that is Dice Throne Adventures. It sometimes comes down to uh, an exciting end like that, mm. and other times uh, it comes down to an exciting end. So that's what I, <laughs> yeah. that's what I like about it. Me so, too. Me too. Uh, next up in the Ketchapalooza at noon Eastern time, Z is going Ketchapalooza? to be... Not Ketchapalooza. Not nope. Ketchapalooza. Spring Spectacular! Spring Spectacular! Look, my head are all dicey. I know, I know. All right, so next up in the Spring Spectacular, uh, starting at noon Eastern time, Z Garcia is going to be playing through Everdell. Mm -hmm. So you can jump over to that next video to hang out with him. Uh, in the meantime... Oh, and then don't forget that at the end of the day, we'll be doing our top 10 list, our top 10 games that everybody should play at least once. At least one time. Mm -hmm. So until then, my name is Chris Yee. I'm Mike Delicio. And I'm Jenny St. Arnold. And as Tom Vassell says, have fun getting smacked around by Raging Berserkers. That's right. And rolling bad.